It is Friday, June 4th. We are going to do a 15 something mile day today, slack packing again. Just got to get my water and the shuttle driver should be here soon. So Grandpops, Dan and I are going to head out and when we come back we're just going to hike down the extra half mile down to the hostel. I think we're going to get to Dismal Falls today and I honestly didn't look to see what else is on the horizon. I do know tonight sometime Pollyanna will show up. She's hiking tomorrow and Sunday with her grandson and she's staying here at Woods Hole Hostel, I think in the tents. Um, one of the glamping tem tents. So it'll be great to see her. And Ellen, one of my subscribers, has offered up to take us to dinner tonight. So we should be seeing her around four. Hi. So I've uh, staying at the Woods Hole Hostel. <laughs> And uh, the first day I'm here and I said, boy, that girl looks familiar. She's got that <laughs> bright smile and that the happy demeanor. And guess who's here? Good morning. This is, uh, well, your trail name is Happy Thoughts. Happy Thoughts, yeah. So can you just uh, fill people in on what's been going on? Oh, my gosh. Um, well, I'm meandering Megan B on YouTube. I'll make sure I put a link in. Yeah, yeah. I uh, have a stress fracture. I ha Well, I guess I still have a stress fracture. But, yeah, I've been here five and a half weeks at Woods Hole and hanging out, kind of living my best life and healing. And now I am officially slack packed today i will be back to woods hole mileage wise and i'll be pushing north here in a couple days oh yeah. well i'm so happy for you and i hope everything works out for you and that your body continues to heal thank you i'm so glad we ran into each other yeah <laughs> take care awesome. happy trip i've got on trail about a quarter till eight grandpops is behind us we'll probably just see him back at the hostel Dan is tearing up the trail this morning. Oh, no. oh yeah. He's like, give me some, give me some room. I got some energy to get rid of. Dan is passing Dismal Falls. I'm gonna go ahead and see what's down here. It's point three and it looks like it's downhill. <laughs> So I'm going to come uphill on the way back, but that's okay. I got to clear my own spider webs now. <laughs> Yuck. So there's been mixed reviews on whether it's worth coming down here. So I like waterfalls. This one's, the water's not real high, but you can tell if the water was running, it would be all the way over here. And there's a nice swimming hole. coming down here, get to hear the water, and uh, if it was warmer, you could really take a nice, long swim. Alright, I'm going to head back. I doubt that I catch up with Dan. He is moving today. So, I just realized though that I was counting on him for any filtered water. So... <laughs> 15, 16 miles on two liters is what I got, unless I run into him. So we'll see. There are campsites going down to Dismal. This one's a nice one, nice and flat. There's also one on the left before you get to the falls. And then there was some slanted ones on the right closer to the falls too. All right, let's get back to the trail. It is 8.40 and I am back on the AT. It's so dark in here. <laughs> 
The trail this morning has been really nice. I mean, it's not a ton of rocks, not a ton of roots. I mean, there are roots, but not a lot of elevation change. So I think I've been averaging about three miles an hour. I think, yeah. And that's including my stop at Dismal. So it's 9.45, I got 2.8, I think, to the shelter. And then I'll take a break. Might be too early for lunch. I'm just gonna take my lunch break there. Oh well. There are lots of bridges and things to cross little streams, but the streams are Pretty low in water. Not a lot of water. I think that's the problem going forward. That's the pond. I got uh, three tents to the shelter. There's a campsite here. So we shall see if Dan's there or not. And I made it to the shelter turn off. It's supposed to be a hundred yards. I need a break, so I'm gonna take a break. There's the shelter. And nobody here. Quarter till 11. Got a 2.4 mile climb starting. That should be the longest climb for the day. I am sweating. I still got eight tenths to go. This is long uphill. You can see the sweat just oh, bouncing off my arm. Oh, I'm hot. Just had to catch my breath a minute. Eight tenths to go. Now the rocks are back, so it'll slow me down just a wee bit. I just passed Squeeze and Diesel, and they are going to be at the Woods Hole Hostel tonight, too. So there's going to be quite a few people. Should be fun. Where I was on that rock overlook a ways back. There's quite a few hikers there. Beasley and Yukon, they're from Buffalo area. I think they're gonna be at Woods Hole tonight. And I did run into Squeeze and Diesel, the dog. They're gonna be at the hostel tonight. And then I ran into, her name now is Sidetrack. But she was a, a girl I ran into oh, early on in the hike where her phone was broken and I had offered for her to use mine when she got into camp. But she said <laughs> she had gone into town and they put rice around it and it seemed to take care of the issue. So she'd gotten moisture into her phone way back when. She's not stopping at the hostel. But should be pretty, pretty good group there. <laughs> I think they are sold out tonight. So I see more of this growth on the azaleas and uh, Sue said that that was a fungus and eventually will kill that tree. Oh, there's pink too. I've only seen the orange. Just 
Just listening to the birds. Got me a little worm down here. Probably have a couple more miles and then a half mile down to the uh, hostel on the road. I just passed the family. That's the ones with the two young kids. Ruby and Porter are their trail names. And they're heading to Woods Hole also. So, like I said, there's gonna be quite a few people there. All right, this is the first time on Virginia's trail like this that I have to go down rocks like this. All right, Sugar Run Gap. Why don't we take it a right and a left? Uh, all right, half mile road walk, dirt road. And it sounds like they are full tonight. Well, it's 1.45. So we started at 7.45. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Six hours to get basically 15 and a half, 16 miles done. Well, that's not bad. I enjoyed today. The last part was tiring because I'm tired, but because I just stopped for that little bit and I really had just only snacked on stuff candy bars and that kind of thing so I'm going to need to grab a quick snack when I get back to the hostel oh yeah Dan and I split pretty early he's, you know, I went to that uh, falls dismal falls and he just kept going so I'm sure he's already showered and waiting to get our laundry done. So I'll get in the shower. And by four o'clock, Ellen and her husband Don are gonna come by and take us into Parisburg for dinner. Looking forward to that. I, yeah, I like today. It was smooth going at the beginning, up until the shelter. Then we had this big old climb. It got me sweated up. And then we hit some rocks, so, but it was good. What a beautiful day. So I wanted to give a quick assessment of the Woods Hole Hostel B&B. I like it. I actually liked the glamping set up better than the room set up. Uh, the reason is you got your own private space and you can sit there out on the deck if you want. It, and it had the electricity and I had a little bit more Wi-Fi, well actually LTE at the tents. So this one downside to this is that the Wi-Fi is very weak so I'm not able to upload anything and it's really hard to text or call and that type of thing. Um, the people uh, here are great. They do have like a circle that they do before dinner. It's a circle of gratitude. Some people, it might make them uncomfortable, but um, this place is, um, I'm trying to think of a, earthy, down to earth, um, no drama, no alcohol, um, quiet, great place to relax. Uh, they play music at night. Uh, there's a girl that, um, kiddo that uh, is really good on the guitar and singing. So uh, I like it. They have uh, breakfast and dinner. We have yet to have the breakfast. That'll be tomorrow. 
The dinners are all vegetarian, so they are not uh, meat eaters, but uh, the food's been great and they make their salads right from their garden. So very wholesome. And I like the decor. And I forgot, they have homemade smoothies, which are really good. And if you're into it, they have yoga at 4.30 out on the lawn. Are you trying to see the ticks away? That's how you feel about, about the situation. Tick was on diesel. Oh. Poor thing. Jesus. Look how engorged it is. It's like an old bird. Oh. I know. It's okay. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to get the tick. I know, buddy. Oh. Damn it, I think the head is still in there, though. Oh, no. So my visitors came. Ellen and her husband, Don. <laughs> we are waiting for our laundry to get done so we can go to dinner. So we are getting ready to go into Palace. Where are we going? Parisburg, right? No, it's Eagles, Eag Eagles Town is where this restaurant is. Really? Eagles Town, south of Parisburg. Okay, so Close we're going enough. Palisades, right? So it's supposed to be a nice restaurant. So thank you for coming to get us. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> Palisades restaurant. This used to be a general store, so I hear it's got good food. Built it this year. It was 30 years long. They have a pork chop and mashed potatoes. Dan has some salmon, and then there's a steak pizza going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy. This is what happy. We are finished and heading downstairs. Bye guys, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, what do you want to tell her? Hey, Pollyanna. <laughs> Wish I could hang around to see you tonight, but I gotta, gotta go. Going. We gotta go. Aww. We gotta go. Bye. Bye, Dan. Oh, yeah, that's here. <laughs> God. Ah. Twice in two weeks. I know. Can't believe it. Uh, okay. Hi. This is Dan or yeah. Daniel? Well, so. I call him Daniel. Everybody else calls him Dan. All right. And, and you know, Dan is an experienced AT hiker. He's done lots of the trail with me. Yeah, That's right. So. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to um, chaperone her a little this weekend. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Make sure she does good. Doesn't yeah. overdo it. She will. She yes. will do good. He's very confident. All right. <laughs> <coughs> and this is Charlie. Charlie, Hi. and she is a sweetheart. You Look love at you. <laughs> Charlie. We can see it as a test. There is no fail, there is no past. Live in your heart, see clear.